the FUE technique, micro, micro FUE technique, uh, has a three steps. The first steps, we extract the grass with the with this punch. I use the three different uh, punch, and the, 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 at this uh, patient, I use the gold one. Another one is a standard um, metal punch, and so it is important part during the extractions is a sharp is a I prefer the sharp punch uh, at the patients because the uh, when I use the if I use the sharp punch the I the risk of the disturb of the grass is lower than another one and so uh, the this decision of the uh, diameter of the punch is important. In my clinic, I prefer the thin hairs. I generally use the 0.7 diameters and 3 millimeters length of the punch. And so if the patient's uh, graft follicles or grafts is thick, I prefer the 0.8 uh, punch. And, all, and also, sometimes the length of the grafts is so high long and in this case I generally use 3.5 millimeters punch and so and we can perform the extraction easily and safely with this length and diameters and don't forget it and the diameter the decision before the during the surgery length and diameters is so important and also uh, Always, always the sharpness of the punch is a the company quality and the metal quality is so important. So I always, we always, uh, the company is so important at the uh, operation because the, the lower quality punch is not effective extractions. Three point is so important. Sharpness of the punch, length of the punch, and the diameter of the punch. If the surgeon, experienced surgeon, know that the all of the patients is different, so experienced surgeon decide the which sharpness, length, and Length and diameter, they they decide that, and then it's so easy. After the extraction extract the grass and so we uh, clean the grass uh, without any blood anything else and we spread uh, split the grass uh, we spread the grass uh, one follicle containing grass and also two and three follicle containing grass it's so easy for during the implantation because uh, the if, if I make a natural appearance we always use the one follicle containing graft the front region and another one to uh, another areas we prefer the two and uh, three follicle containing grafts it's so important to order the grafts also at the procedure of the hair implantation at microfure at FUE um, the we've, firstly we finish the extraction fast and we order the grafts we take around 3,000 grafts at first step and uh, if the patient's baldness area is big and so we divide the operation two sessions. At first step, 
we will cover the front region with 3,000 grass. Another day, tomorrow, we will uh, again around 3,000 grass to cover the, the rest of the up and the Quebec region. And uh, this, this step, we will open the holes with, uh, using the lateral slit technique. And especially the front region, I use a one follicle containing grass, that's why uh, I give the maximum density of the uh, maximum density to front region with uh, direction of the own hairs. It's so important for the naturity. And also, some cases I use the DHIFUE, and some persons you, you use the terminal just DHI, but don't forget it, DHI also uh, the part of the FUE technique. And so the density is same. Uh, there is no differences between the DHI technique and also uh, micro FUE technique. And there is some advantages and disadvantages of the patients. And generally I use the DHI at especially without, uh, without shaving patients. But uh, the lateral slit technique is, I think that's uh, better than the totally bald patients because the density is the, not different between the, each techniques. And at this part of these patients, I must arrange the length of the uh, graphs and slits and also diameter at the slit is so important and the blood circulation also so important when I use the when I open the holes and uh, uh, so a lot of patients is vascularity of the skin is different and uh, there is no standards of the open the holes because yes we there is a stand, uh, basic standards we make the holes the, with this zigzag fashion but the density is uh, is changed all of the patients and uh, like this the, this patient skin is very good we can open the uh, holes very easily and uh, but the standard part of uh, limits of the, this operation is that we don't disturb the blood circulation of the uh, skin and also we don't result in a skin necrosis after the this operation and also don't forget that the uh, venous deficiency results in a grass losing and we must pay attention to all this uh, case is so important and then so don't, we don't forget that the, each touch is decreases the blood circulation of the skin. That's why uh, I generally use the. My key point is the. Once uh, I open the between two to twenty-five or thirty holes at per centimeter squares is my key point, and if I try to more density at this this uh, points sometimes result in a skin necrosis or venous deficiencies so result in a graft losing and and that so the decrease the operation success rate is so important. And uh, always we talking about the hair implantation, hair implantation techniques, and so the, this important uh, the who perform the surgery, and so. But generally, we never talking about the, our devices, instruments, and also the instruments help us so uh, so much. And the high quality contemporary devices is so important at hair implantation, and. Uh, you know that uh, there is a lot of techniques that uh, uh, we prefer generally use the FUE technique. FUE technique is uh, 
follicular unit excision technique is, is a, especially the first step of the our uh, punch. The punch is so important. Is that the, the, the recent literature show us that is a blade sharpness of the uh, punch is so important. Especially we provide we prefer the threaded punch uh, the for the sharpness. Is that uh, this uh, sharpness of this threaded punch is, uh, is longer than the uh, straight uh, punches is so important and so and we use the uh, the, the, we, the surgeon uh, choosing of the punch diameter in the length of depends on the patients the skin quality skin uh, tenderness tenderness skin uh, laxity is so important at the uh, Punch uh, because the uh, especially and always we can change the punch number, uh, length, also diameter. In my clinic and at the uh, curl hairs uh, and also African hairs, also uh, thick hairs, I generally use the 0.8 punches. But if the patient's hair is a thin, and we generally use the uh, 0.7 punch diameter but uh, we ex another part of the uh, point of the at the hair implantation during the uh, cho during choosing the uh, punch the uh, punch and uh, the length of the punch is that some patients uh, graphs is so long in this case is we prefer the, the three that five millimeter length, but if that's normal patients, is that we generally prefer the uh, three millimeters punch. Is a punch num uh, punch length and the diameter is so important during the excision, but uh, uh, not during excision is not important. Is just the important another part of the when we excise the grass, the extraction devices is so important. Is a uh, the handful and also ha uh, the so comfortable machine is so important for the surgeons. Another part of the during the implantation, implantation is a uh, angle of the uh, our uh, devices is and also softness and also comfort is so important at the surgery. So and so certainly the first, uh, the most important uh, phase of the. Uh, FUE technique is surgeon certainly surgeon is important but uh, we always forget that our devices is another part of the uh, importance because the uh, we can do this operation are with our devices thank you so much